What's up guys, it's Old Ninja wearing Aviator and Super Hat, and welcome to the Modern Ninja. And this is another episode of Weapon Logs, a series where I take weapons and gadgets and review them for any of you wanting to expand your zombie killing arsenal or just explain your collection of weapons in general. I've covered all types of weapons here on this channel, from Wakazaki shorts to bladed nunchucks to CSGO knives and even Genji's sword from Overwatch. So of course, feel free to uh, scroll through the playlist. But today I'll be talking about the retractable staff and letting you know if it's actually good for self-defense. Unlike the other one, wink wink. And if this video gets 50 likes, I will go out by a melon and maybe even a cow bone and see how powerful the staff really is. I'd honestly love to get another slow-mo of me just trying to go through a cow bone. But without further ado, let's Get into the video. The Tactical Self-Defense Retractable Bow Staff, huh, that's a mouthful, is a relatively new staff that has come up with the need for people to want to be able to have a compact item in their possession that they can shoot out at the moment's notice. Obviously to show how awesome they are in the face of robbery. Put it in! Um, you're facing the wrong way, sir. Ah! Well, I mean, uh, Kinda. However, there is always a need for people to feel more secure and safe when in their car at night or walking down the street. But before, the only options were a relatively small baton that was expandable, and of course, the pocket staff that everyone remembers, right? You know, the thing everyone lost their collective minds about back in like 2019 and thought it would actually work in self-defense. Well, let me tell you this now. That one won't work like at all. Anyway, this one takes the more effective option of the two and multiplies it, quite literally. Specifically multiplies it by two. This staff is essentially two of those batons attached together to make one self-defense weapon. When fully extended, the staff is about 51 inches or 130 centimeters from tip to tip. Hey, phrasing! And don't worry, I'll do the math for you. That's about four foot three inches. You're welcome. And when it's in its compact form, it's about 19 inches or 48 centimeters. I'm gonna assume you can convert that into feet on your own. At least I hope you can. Now I know what all of you are thinking. Modern Ninja, that's too big for me to realistically carry on my body. Well, maybe not all of you are thinking that, but for sure that one guy in the back is. And don't worry, I got you. The staff sections can come unscrewed. And cutting the size in half makes it a lot easier to store in any purse or backpack that you may be carrying around day to day. Or on your utility belt. And yes, I'm looking at you, Phil. I see that Batman costume you're wearing at 2 in the afternoon. But I do like the Batman belt. I, I gotta say, the belt looks nice. It also allows you to use each baton separately from each other and implement some double Escrima work. It's basically what Nightwing uses in the Arkham games. Sadly though, it does not come with a quick release. Oh, the things I would do to get a quick release on this thing. But alas, we can dream. But Modern Ninja, is it strong enough to even hold up to an actual attack? Well, um, you don't have to say it like that, but yeah, it is. The entire body of the staff is made out of almost three pounds of steel. Well, technically two pounds, 11 ounces, but I rounded, give me a break. Basically it's like an expandable steel pipe to whack the bad guys across the head with. And uh, being honest with you, I'm sold on that premise alone. Sir, you're not wearing your mask. There you go, you're welcome. And again, get me to 50 likes and I will take this and destroy some melons with it and take a whack at a cow bone to see if it'll actually go through the entire cow bone. However, the one part of this bad boy that isn't metal is the grip. It comes with a rubber diamond grip pattern that is great for not only just keeping it in your hand, you know, what grips are made for, but the pattern also helps keep your hand cool and prevent sweating, making your hands as dry as my jokes. Boom. Okay, yeah, sorry, sorry about that one. That one was just obviously bad. That was just painfully bad. Now, obviously you can swing it and hit people across the head with it, no problem, on the side. But the thing that's actually surprising is the amount of force it can take when stabbing into something that's not solid ground. Stabbing into something like concrete or cement 
it's fairly easy to get the staff to retract into itself. But when trying to stab some softer target, you know, like someone's chest, it stays surprisingly firm and allows for a solid strike. This is honestly one of my favorite features because it means you can use it to the full potential of the staff. So swings, spins, and jabs all work and so you don't have to alter any of your natural training staff moves to fit this unique staff. And as someone who spent the last almost 15 years practicing bow staff, I very much appreciate it. But regardless, if this staff is something you would like to add to your collection or to your arsenal, links will be always down below. And if you use my link, it actually helps out the channel so I can afford to get even more toys to review and let you guys know, uh, you know, whether they're actually effective or just kind of a throwaway toy to, to play with. Wink wink, still looking at you, pocket staff. But as always, I hope you enjoyed this video and subscribe if you want to see more of my content. I try to post at least once, usually twice every week so you can get some awesome content. And until next time, my name's DJ Moore, this is The Modern Ninja, and I'm out.